chair recognizes himself. Madam Chair, why, um, why are you harassing Twitter? Uh, Congressman, thanks for the question. As you might know, the FTC's work on Twitter goes back a decade. Back in 2000. I'm not talking about a decade. I'm talking about now. Back 12 in demand letters in 10 weeks, 300, over 350 separate requests you've demanded of Twitter. Why are you harassing them? Twitter has a history of lax security and privacy policies. Previously, You've asked for every single communication relating to Elon Musk, not communications that he just sent to someone or some or communications he received, but any time he's mentioned. That, that actually seems more, actually more than harassment. That seems like almost an obsession. Why, why, the, why, why such an intense focus? So, Congressman, again, it was found that Twitter's lax privacy policies allowed unauthorized users to co-opt Twitter accounts including that of Fox News. Subsequently, Twitter voluntarily entered into a consent order with the FTC. Here's, here's Unfortunately, what you wrote in December, found, Madam Chair, here's what you wrote in December. Identify all journalists and other members of the media to whom Twitter has granted access since Musk bought the company. You want to know the name of every journalist a private company has talked to? Think that's consistent with the First Amendment? Congressman, as a former journalist, I take extremely seriously the valuable work that they do and understand that there can be instances in which government action is unjustifiably Particularly, particularly Madam Chair, if I, could, if I could just interject, particularly in the context here. I mean, it's bad enough if you got government asking a private company about who are the journalists you're talking to. You name four of them and say, we want the other names of any journalists you may, in fact, be communicating with. That's bad enough. And I think a threat to the First Amendment freedom of the press but in the context of giving us information about how government had suppressed speech on these platforms, that's the context you're asking for. I think that's particularly troubling, don't you? Congressman, the consent decree that we have prohibits Twitter from sharing personal information with third parties. When we read in the papers, like everybody else, that Twitter may have granted access to third parties, that's what our teams were seeking information about. Again, this is a company whose history with the FTC Madam, goes Madam back Chair, a decade. Uh, we, we got limited time. Madam, Madam Chair, who is uh, David Roque? Could you repeat that, Congressman? David Roque, R-O-Q-U-E. Who is David Roque? I'm not familiar with You that. deposed him last month, June 21st, 2023. David Roque is the independent partner for Ernst & Young's independent assessment of Twitter's program. That's part of this consent decree. Um, do you know what Mr. Roque said in that deposition? I'm not aware. Okay, let me read it for you then, because I think it's pretty important. Mr. Roque testified, again, in front of your lawyers, you deposed him, testified that FTC's conduct made him feel as if the FTC was trying to influence the outcome of the engagement before it had started. He said, in some of the discussions that we were having with the Federal Trade Commission, expectations were being conveyed about what those results should be before we had even begun any procedures. So they're the independent assessor in this consent decree the FTC has with Twitter, and you're telling the guy, who is the, the person? He's the guy. He's Joe, the accountant, who's going to get this information. You're telling him, you're putting your finger on the scale, telling him what you want the outcome to be, and he's supposed to be the independent fact finder. Why are you doing that? Congressman, I'm not familiar with those. Because it was just filed today, but we are. This is filed in court today, and this is your deposition. I'm happy to take a closer look at it and be back in touch. I will say, as a general matter, we want to make sure that the assessors and auditors that are responsible for overseeing compliance are doing their job. You say Mr. Roke's line, what he testified here, what's been filed in court today, that there were suggestions of what they would expect the outcome to be, they being the FTC. There were suggestions of what they wanted him to go find in his independent assessment of the consent degree agreement, uh, 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 agreement between the FTC and Twitter. Again, I'm happy to take a close look and we can be back in touch with you about that allegation, but our staff are consummate professionals. Uh, when they conduct these investigations, they're focused on determining did you go after, whether there did was you go a after, did you? Is your uh, uh, attack on Twitter, harassment on Twitter, is that based on, on the fact that all kinds of Democrats have asked you to do this and, frankly, some things that you've written about dealing with, quote, disinformation? Does that have anything to do with it, Ms. Khan? Congressman, we make only independent determinations about whether there were law violations. Um, the statement from Chairman Nadler, the statements from uh, the, the letter, the press release in the letter from seven Democrat senators that had no impact on it, that's not why you're doing it? 
Absolutely not. We look very closely at the specific matter at hand. Again, 12 Twitter demand system. letters in 10 weeks telling the independent assessor, hey, put your finger on the scale. This is the results we want. That's, that's, that's not harassment, and it had nothing to do with the fact that every Democrat in this town seemed to be telling you to go after Twitter. Our focus is on protecting people's privacy and security. Uh, Twitter has sensitive data on 150 million Americans, including private messages. We need to make sure, especially given its history going all the way back to 2010, we're doing everything to make sure Twitter is complying with the order. That's fine. Don't put your finger on the scale and don't attack the First Amendment and the rights of journalists. Mr. Chairman, Dad, I, I, yield, I yield back.